well. Take heed you wake him not. I warrant you, my life for yours. That's a good lay, for I must kill myself. Brother, that's I that sits for me. Do you mark it? And I must stand ready here to make myself yonder. I must sit to be killed and stand to kill myself. But sir, does the Duke Sun come single? No, there's the hell on it. His face too feeble to go alone. He brings flesh flies after him that will buzz against supper time and hum for his coming out. Ah, the fly flop of vengeance beat him to pieces. Here was the sweetest occasion to make my vengeance known to him. Show him the body of the Duke, his father, who in catastrophe slain him over his father's breast. Oh, I'd be mad to lose such a sweet opportunity. Nay, push pretty, be content. There's no remedy present. Come now, to avoid all suspicion, let's forsake this room and be going to meet the Duke's son. Part, step close, here he comes. My honored lord. Oh, me? You both present? Even newly, my lord. Just as your lordship entered now about this place, we had notice given he should be but in some loathsome plight or other. Came your honor private? Private enough for this. Only a few attend my coming out. Death brought those few. Stay. Yonder's the slave. Mass, there's the slave indeed, my lord. He's a good child who calls his father a slave. Aye, aye, that's the villain. The damned villain. Soft. Tread easy. Ace rogue, thou sleepest thy last. Tis policy to have him killed in his sleep, for if he waked, he would betray all to them. <clears throat> Come, be ready now. Make your swords. Think of your wrongs. This slave has injured you. Trot, so he has. Please pay all for it. Quickly now. There he lies. Nimbly done. Ha! Ah. Ah. Villains! Murderers! Tis the old duke, my father! What? Stiff and cold already? Oh, pardon me! Tis none of your deed! That villain, Piatto, whom you thought now to have killed, has murdered him and left him thus disguised. Oh, rascal! Was he not ashamed to put the duke into a greasy doublet? I'll forwith send to court for all the nobles, bastard duchess all, how here by miracle we found him dead, and in his raiment that foul villain fled. Ho, oh, Nencio! My lord! Be witness of a strange spectacle. We found the duke, my father, shield in blood. Run, hide thee, Nencio! Startle the court by signifying so much! Thus much by wit, Andrew can, when murder is known to be the clearest man. My royal father, too basely let blood by a malevolent slave. O sight, look hither! See how his lips are gnawed with poison! How his lips be the mask they be? Oh villains, oh rogues, oh slaves, oh rascals! Behold, behold, my lords, the duke, my father's murdered by a vassal that owes this habit and here left disguised. Oh, my lord and husband! Learn of our mother, let's dissemble too. I am glad he's vanished. So, I hope are you. I need my word for it. Old dad dead? I, one of his cast sins, will send the fates. Most hearty commendations by his own son. I'll tug the new stream till strength be done. Where be the one that did affirm to us that my lord the duke was privately writ for? Oh, pardon me, my lords. He that gave that charge, upon my life, if he were missed at court to answer so. He rode not anywhere. I left him private with that fellow here. Oh heavens, that false charge was his death. Impudent beggar, durst you to our face maintain such a false answer? In this excuse you may be called half the murder. Guards! Bear him straight to execution. My lord! To a confession doll who would not lie when men are hanged for truth. My lord, 
Your father's accidentally departed. The titles that were due to him meet you. Meet me? I'm not at leisure, my good lord. I have many griefs to dispatch out of the way. Welcome, sweet titles. Talk to me of sepulchres and mighty emperor's bones. That's fought for me. My lord, it is your shine must comfort us. You're now my lord's grace. All sorrows must run their circles into joys. No doubt but time will make the murder bring forth itself. Let us be thankful it is funeral honors and call to memory our new happiness. Spread in this royal sun. Lords, gentlemen, prepare for me. My lords, my favors to you all. The Duchess is suspected foully bent. I'll begin dukedom with her banishment. Aye, that's the word. We are firm yet. Strike one strain more and then we come. Well, have the fairest mark, so said the Duke when he begot me. And if I missed his heart or near about, then have it any, a bastard scorn. Not as thou that Spurio, brother. He shall not live. His hair shall not grow much longer. In this time of revels, tricks may be set afoot. Seest thou yon new moon? It shall outlive the new Duke by much. This hand shall dispossess him. Then we are mighty. A mask is treason's license that build upon. Tis murder's best face when a visor's on. Tis so. Tis very good. And do you think to be Duke then, kind brother? I'll see fair play. Drop one, there lies the other. My lords, be all of music. Let our hid flames break out as fire, as lightning, to blast this villainous dukedom vexed with sin. Wind up your souls to their full height again. Rebels are to war. And those few nobles that have long suppressed you are busy to the furnishing of a mask and do effect to make a pleasant tale on. The masking suits are fashioning. Now comes in that which must glad us all we to take pattern of all those suits, the color, trimming, fashion, eyeing to an undistinguished hair almost. Then entering first, observing the true form. Within a strain or two, we shall find leisure to steal our swords out handsome. And when they think their pleasure sweet and good, in the midst of all their joy, they shall sell blood. Come, my lords, prepare. Many harmonious hours and choices pleasures fill up the number of your royal years. My lords, we're pleased to thank you. Though we know tis but your duty now to wish it so, that foul, incontinent duchess we have banished, the bastard shall not live. After these revels, I'll begin strange ones. He and the step stepson shall pay their lives with the first subsidies. My gracious lord, please you prepare for pleasure. The mask is not far off. We are for pleasure. Beshrew thee, what art thou madest me start? Thou hast committed treason, a blazing star. I am not pleased at that ill, not at fire, that bushing, flaring star. Am I not Duke? It should not quake me now. Had it appeared before it, I might then have justly feared. But yet they say, whom art and learning weds, when stars wear locks, they threaten great men's heads. Here's the comfort, my lord. Many times when it seems most, it threatens farthest off. Faith. And I think so too. My lord, 
you're gracefully established with the loves of all your subjects. And for natural death, I hope it will be three score years of coming. True. No more but three score years? Four score years, I hope, my lord. And five score, aye. But tis my hope, lord, that you shall never die. Ah, uh, give me thy hand. This other I rebuke. He that hopes so is fittest for a duke. Thou shalt sit next to me. Take your places, lords. We're ready now for sports. Let them set on. You thing will forget you quite anon. Mark thunder, dost thou know thy cue, thou big voice crier? Duke's groans are thunder's watchwords. No power is angry when the lustful die. When thunder claps, heaven likes the tragedy. Come, let's away, no lingering. Treason! How now? All murdered? Murdered? Here's a labor saved. I thought to have sped him. Then I proclaim myself. Now I am Duke. Thou Duke, brother thou liest. Slave, so dost thou. Base villain, has thou slain my lord and master? Pistols! Treason! Murder! Help guard the lord my Duke! Lay hold upon this traitor. Alas, the Duke is murdered. A piteous tragedy, able to make an old man's eyes bloodshot. Oh! Surgeons! Surgeons, look to my lord the Duke! Pardon, does he breathe so long a vengeance thrall him? Confess, thou murderous and unhallowed man. Didst thou kill all these? None but the bastard I! How came the Duke to be slain then? We found him so! Oh, oh, villain. Those in the mask did murder us. Oh, marble impudence, will you confess now? It's blood to the lie. Away with that foul monster dipped in a prince's blood. Bear him to a speedy execution. Heart, tis a lie, tis a lie, tis a lie, tis a lie! Farewell to all. He that climbs the highest is the greatest fall. Oh, my lord. It was Pindici, better be. Oh! Murdered thy father oh. and thy So, so the dukes departed. It was a deadly hand that wounded him, the rest ambitious, who should rule and sway. After his death, have so made all the way. Now the hope of Italy lies in your reverend ears. Your hair will make the silver age again, for there was fewer but more honest men. The burden's weighty and will press age down. May I so rule that heaven may keep the crown. The rape of your good lady has been quitting with death on death. Just is the law above. But of all things, it puts me most to wonder how the old duke came murdered. It was the strangeliest carried. I had not heard of the like. It's all death and death. All for your good, my lord. 
We may be bold to speak it now, t'was we too murdered him. You too? None else I faith, my lord. Lay hands upon these villains. Bear them to a speedy execution. Heart, was it not for your good, my lord? My good? Away with them. Such an old man as he, you that would murder him would murder me. Bear up those tragic bodies to the heavy season. Pray heaven their blood will wash away all treason. Split, brother, you be God. May not we set as well as the Duke's son? Thou hast no conscience. Are we not revenged? Is there one enemy left amongst those? Tis time to die when we ourselves are foes. When murder shut, deeds close. This curse does seal them. If none disclose them, they themselves reveal. This murder might have slept in tongueless breath before ourselves and the world died in end. But now we are in forever. This work was ours which might else have been slipped. And if we list, we could have nobles clipped. And go for less than beggars, but we hate. To bleed so cowardly, we have enough. Where well our mother turned our sister true, we die after a nest of dukes. Adieu.